Okay. Good. Did you get enough? Well, you, when you get it on, you ought to tape your house. Mm-hmm. Which you're probably going to do, aren't you? Well, we're in the car. It's 1021. We just stopped at Good Guys. Michael Rourke sold me the tape. Did he now? Yeah. Discount. Uh-huh. <laughs> and here we are, father and son, on the uh, discovery trip <laughs> of a... Oh, what would you, how would you describe it? He's talking into his... We're the gadget geeks. He's responsible for it all. Well, it's really retracing uh, uh, long ago steps. Back to the fatherland. Find out where it all started. If we can find. If we can find anything. Find anything. We'll be lucky to find a Royal Grandy in Pismo Beach. Well, we'll be lucky to get there unless we get going. Ah, okay. That means we over, should stop the tape. Over an hour. Oh. I, I checked. <clears throat> So here we are in, where are we? Near the Hollister or uh, exit off of 101. We've gone about 100 miles in front of the good old red barn. Having a sandwich in the car. And I guess we have another What, two hours of driving? Or three hours, what time is it? One o'clock. One o'clock. Yeah, two hours of driving before we get two, there. Two and a half. Yeah. So. ETA of 320. 320. And what is it that we're going to try to do today? Try to, well, it's daylight, go to the graveyard. See if we can at least visit some who are no longer here. And show you where my grandparents used to live. And who would be buried there? In the graveyard. My father, my grandparents, and I think I have two uncles. And it seems like a lot of the Vorries have migrated to Oro Grandi cemeteries. So Homer's there for sure, though, huh? And you couldn't find him last time you were there? No. Have you ever seen it there? I was at, went to his funeral there. So unless they moved it or bulldozed it, mm, I don't it should know. be there. It was very close to the highway, but the highway has moved, so that chance may not exist. Who are you doing? Take that picture of me. It's one o'clock. Turn the camera off. You didn't know you were being filmed? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the problem with this world is just no more privacy. That's right. Or you have never been. They both were large people trying their best at one point in their life to keep under the <laughs> that's, that's not their publication. They keep their weight down. And, uh, well, I thought she was dominant. I can't believe that oh, no. she would let him smoke in bed. Well, she had her way of looking like all wives. She perhaps would have her way of, of, of keeping things under control. <clears throat> and he, in his younger years, he had a, uh, he had a temper. And that mellowed out? Yeah, yeah with, with age, yeah. It mellowed a lot. And after our house burned down, he had fixed up the garage very nicely. He had built, then he had transformed <coughs> the chicken business into this uh, killing chickens and, and selling them uh -huh. on a wholesale basis. And that was quite lucrative, except they would get up and they would start work at 5 in the morning and 
Could have been at seven. Yeah. Eight or nine. Yeah. And both of them just working, working, working. Is that when you were with them? I was with them then. Huh. And that was down here? That was in, in Bakersfield. Yeah, that couldn't have been in Montana. And why was it that he moved to Montana? To work. <laughs> worked for Standard Oil at the time. And they were drilling, oh, they, they had an exploratory rig up there. Yeah. Looking at for new rigs. <clears throat> so one time we were in the, what was then our new home, the garage, the other one having been burned up, down. Is that the Voorhees poultry? Yep. Is that, that the new one or the old one? No, that was the new one that burned down. We'd only lived in it about two or three years. We were in the garage, uh, a little dining room. Nicely done, he added onto it. Floor. Actually, it was what we call then congolium, which is simply a stamped pattern. I don't know the this. <laughs> I don't think I am, except when he came back with some money and did the poultry for a bit. And it was reasonably successful, but they worked you know, 12 hours a day. And that farm was also down here somewhere. In Bakersfield on the same piece of property, about three acres of land. Huh. I wonder if it's still anything. We'll, f we'll find out. Yeah. <clears throat> and was that on that uh, King Road or whatever it was? or what Castle was Omar. Castle Omar? Yeah. Road. But the two of them were just wonderful. They raised me. Uh, they were my mom and dad. I would see, during that whole period, I would see my mother uh, probably two to three times a year, she would drive from Los Angeles to Bakersfield, which was a 12-hour trip wow. over the little thin, narrow ridge route, two-lane. You still road. see pieces of that road you, from the main road? I think you can, yeah. And she would come up, spend the weekend, and then go back and go to work. She worked for the Southern Automobile Auto Club. But my mom and dad just absolutely adored her. As far as they were concerned, she was their daughter. What did they think about the fact that she dumped you off at their place for childhood? I, I don't know. I think that worked out nicely. I think they... They had no problems. Uh, and they could, uh, keep in mind, Peter, my grandfather, Fern, the age difference between myself and him is the same as the age difference between you and myself. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at this thing. Train track. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, they were young. You know, they were, weren't old and feeble. They were young. Right. And, and, uh, because Pearl had you at such a young age? She was 20 when I was born, yeah. My father, she was 19 and my father was 18 when they were married. And I was born just nine and a half months later. But those were Homer's parents. Yes. Pearl's father was Bester. Right. And really, it was really, and I looked it up again, it was really Sylvester. Oh, and you got short well, Vester? Well, I got short change. Too bad, because I, I Sylvester was tolerable. Vester was not. You didn't like Vester growing no. up? But uh, Sylvester, I could have taken. And Sylvester's, you know, not a bad name. In fact, one of the uh, Jack Wilkins brother, Beale, uh -huh. always called me Sylvester. Huh. Just, he liked it better. Well, yeah. 
fact, they could call me Vester or Sylvester, just, just for fun. But mom and dad had just such fundamental down-to-earth principles. They, did, they were not really church growers, but growers, but they were religious in their own quiet sense. Mom prayed a lot, read the Bible, but didn't get up Sundays to go to church, nor did my granddad, but they had ethics and they had principles. What was Far home? better than almost anyone who ever went to church. Uh-huh. So. Now, what about Homer? I mean, he took off. He was just around. He worked in oil fields. Wherever the jobs were, he went. But he, I mean, it was survival, I guess, at that point for him. Well, in those days, it was survival. In fact, he did get married <coughs> to a gal that worked in a restaurant. And I think for a short period of time, he had no place to live, no money or anything. And he uh, lived in what we used to call the hatchery, the brooder house. He lived in there, lived there with Pat, my stepfather, stepmother. His new wife. His wife. Do you remember her? Oh yeah, I remember her. Yeah, a lot. And how old would Homer be now if he were still around? Ninety something. Uh, close, probably. Uh, considering he was just let's see. died in, in like, it wasn't 83. Well, no, she was 83 years oh, old. Yeah. So, I'm not sure I get to, to figure and out. Homer died after that or before that? Well, he died long before that. Uh, what, how, why so early? Well, he had uh, emphysema uh, and died of a heart attack. emphysema in our family, actually. Yeah, smoking. Everybody smoked. Really? Homer smoked? Oh, yeah, he smoked. He smoked three to four packs a day of those short lucky. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Wow. And one time I, he, uh, let's see, I visited him at an oil well one time. He came up standing by the door and I was sitting in the driver's seat and he looked down and he saw some cigarettes. He just reached in and took them and threw them away. Oh really? <laughs> he was, I hesitate talking about him too much because it's not very positive. I don't like to do that. But what he was, uh, he was rattling down there. Pardon? What's the matter? I hate it when things vibrate in the battle. Was he just not very pleasant to you, or? Well, it wasn't that. Uh, we just, well, we never knew each other. Yeah. Uh, well, you probably resented him a little bit for not being around, and all of a sudden he tried to come in and lay the law down. Well, like any stranger. If any stranger came in and, and started that bullshit on me, I would, you know, I would be very receptive, regardless of whether legally my father or not. Well, he probably really wasn't your dad in your mind. Well, he didn't he, care. Yeah. He was uh, very selfish, looked after himself. Huh. And uh, out of a job, a fair amount. My granddad, on the other hand, was very solid, very... He would come around, my granddad would put... Uh, after the Depression, he, didn't, he lost some money in the banks, so he kept it in the coffee can in the backyard. My father would come around, my father had a brand new big Buick, 
and uh, spent money a lot. Everything he had came around to my grandfather and said, Dad, uh, I'm a little uh, strapped right now. Do you, can I borrow some money from you? Dad would say, how much? He said, well, I'd like $200, which is a lot of money. Then. Uh -huh. And Dad said, well, uh, you know, come, come around tomorrow. I'll see if I can find something. He went out and dug up his coffee can. Didn't want to come in to see it. No. In fact, when my granddad died, my father said to me, Do you know of any places where Dad could have uh, put some money? <laughs> and I thought to myself, You son of a bitch. Lousy. Huh. Wow, really? Turkey. And how often after your granddad died did you see him? Uh, almost never. The only reason I saw my father at all... Because he came back for money or something? Well, uh, was basically uh, I was visiting my grandparents. And the mom would get a hold of him somehow or living with her grandparents. No, I, uh, in Aurora Grande. Oh. I'm, I'm back in Aurora Grande, where I was visiting, and, and he would be in the neighborhood or working somewhere. He'd be there for, for dinner. And uh, we talked, and that's about the only, the only time I really saw him is when my grandparents made a point of having him there. Otherwise, he made no effort to see me. And I couldn't care less about him. Yeah. And there was one major incident I'll tell you about later on that created, uh, I, I just deliberately never wanted to see him again at all. Wow. So, uh, and that was, the dark spot on him. Huh. So really, you know... Like, Did he ever really pull his life together and do anything? No. No? No. Uh, and, and he had no respect for anybody who did, really. Uh, uh -huh. that, that just wasn't him. Right. That was somebody else. Not only did we have nothing in common, there were things that just were bad. And once my grandmother and grandfather left, uh, that was... I wonder how he did after that. Well, he, uh, he got out of the oil fields and was a pipe fitter and was working in the coastal areas. And I guess eventually got sick, didn't work much, and I think was on welfare. Uh. And uh, then died. I did go to his funeral, and went over to the house for a few hours after that, and then came back up here, spent the night in a motel, and came home. I remember that service station. <clears throat> and how long ago was his funeral? sure really when he died. I was with Bechtel because I was in St. Louis on a job for a week when he died and they called Jane and she, I did go to the funeral, I thought about it and I said, well, shit, why not? Some of my relatives said later they were surprised to see me there. Hmm. Because they knew that he didn't they treat you very well. They knew. And they were not speaking. My father wasn't speaking to any of my, my relatives. That was an on and off situation. Huh. It was very strange. No. No? Didn't get out of Bakersfield? Bakersfield was so hot, the reason uh, Pismo Beach and Royal Grande were where my granddad settled 
was we used to come over here a lot on weekends. Drive across where you and I are going. Or Kalinga's what, to the right or to the left? To the right. How many miles? I would just guess 50 miles. Over a little windy road? Uh -huh. Oh, you gotta be to get over the mountains. You gotta get that way, huh? I assume so, I'm not sure here. Uh, it says San Lucas Colinga 185, 198. 198? Yeah. Cemetery? They do that kind of thing? I don't know. Well, fortunately, they built the highway over here. Well, or did they? Yeah. Yeah, the cemetery right there, Dad. Yeah. On the right. See? The highway, didn't it go See? way over? Yeah. Right. Huh. Okay. Which way do we go? Straight or right? Uh, go straight right now. Find the taker is in the middle over there, but let's go down here a minute. We can turn around. Was there a ceremony at this church? No, no church ceremony. Grave site, graveyard ceremony. You want to go over here and turn around? That is new. No, I want you to go straight down. Down here? Yeah, for a few more. No, oh. service station. On one side, store and store. These are the four corners of the. 
get mad at. Now this has grown up since I was back last time. Do you know how far down we go? Uh, not too far. I, I, I can't play this by ear. Peter in the house is probably gone. Uh, to get over in this lane and go slow. The right lane? Yeah. Or maybe we can like, make you check on the way back. Do you remember if it was a right turn or a left that's, turn? That's the house right there. That's the house right there? Yeah, and yes, that's that's the house park right here. So that's the direction we were going. We passed it on the left, and there it is. Now this is where Homer and Ada live? No, uh, Kern. Kern and Ada. My grandparents. Right. And did they have Homer when they lived there? No, he was in the house. In that garage is part of the house too? Yeah. And they have done nothing to the front. It's still the same. They've painted it. Porte cache is added. Fence is added. But that brick thing is still there. I well, they have absolutely no privacy in that yard right now. Yeah. You, know? you know? They had, and I have a picture of his sister coming out from Ohio and all of us standing in front. Huh. Oldsmobile convertible. Oh, really? And one morning I was going to go back early here. And I got out. The Oldsmobile was parked right there. I got out and started it. It was a, one of the first hydromatics. Started it and went back in to let it warm up. And I came on, it was gone. <laughs> Transmission had engaged. <laughs> God, well, these days it would have been plowed apart. Got us nice lighting right now for this. I'm about the only one I can tell. Died. I was supposed to have had this. He wanted the Ranger Will. He gave half to me, half to my father. I wanted my mother to arrange it. And my father absolutely refused, totally, got violent. To let you in on it? Money should go, any property should go from father to son, and that's the way it should be. And I'll tell you the rest of the story. Let's not miss the graveyard. All right. <clears throat> so, so. Nothing's changed. Pern, Pern and Ada bought this house and lived in it for how long? Well. Uh, they. They got it along about 1946 and had it until they died. And they died when? Well, he died, uh, he died just about the time Jenny was born. And this is the house they moved into after they moved back from Montana? No, from Bakersfield. From Bakersfield. And he retired. 
So they had already done the Montana thing. Oh yeah, that was long. That was when I was little tiny guy. They went from Montana to to Bakersfield. Well, and then Montana. From Bakersfield. I'm a little vague there. I yeah. think he probably went to India, huh. and then uh, came back to Bakersfield. That's it. That's your great grandfather. Like, well, and so Homer ended up with it. Yeah. And everything else. What else was there? Oh, uh, well, just the little goodies, and there was some a little property. Huh. Personal facts. Well, I guess you figured after all the kind, yeah. loving care you gave you as a child that you didn't deserve anything else. Well, then after, uh, It's just like they're doing after, us a favor to slow down. His other wife died. Dutch. Dutch. Oh, yeah. I've got a right name. It's like Marshall. Which is like yeah. Marshall, so. yeah. My uh, grandpa, grandpa, grandmother, and grandfather, Ada and Fern, they lived down the street about two blocks. Fern? On the other side. Fern. Right here. Right. Fern, Fern, and the other one is. Ada, but I see. Let, well, can we go Fern, through the Fern's, Fern's there and there. I don't see the other one. Oh, there it is. Ada? Ada, his wife, yeah. That's the only information I have. Huh. Okay. Are they here? Oh, yes, they are. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Right over in that direction. And then, let's see, let me get the, the dates. Let's see. Well, right now, all we know is that the burial date was okay. in July of 31st of 1953. Yeah, I may have that home, but okay. And then Seven for years old. my dad, granddad, hmm. that's 1 0, by the way. Yeah. One, o, one o on Voorhees. Yeah, right. I think it has a headstone out there. Yeah, right. Hopefully they we'll got it right on that on the headstone? No, I'm saying I bet the headstone will have it. Oh, yeah. He was 71, huh? Hmm. Yeah. What does wood mean? That wood is the name of the funeral director. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Now, let, can we go through the other Voorheeses? Mm -hmm. I see Bryson, my cousin, mm -hmm. and he died at... Uh, do you want to see all the Voorhees? Where yeah, they're yeah. Sure. I, we would like to do that. And what was your first name? Peter. Oh, I was going to say. I'm not out there yet. No. <laughs> Maybe this is a good place to end up. Do you still have room? Mm-hmm. You have to fight to get in here. The next one over there is uh, Homer Borton. That's my father. Homer. Did you know he was here, Dad? Yeah. I was here at his funeral. Oh, that's right. Let me pick up his date. Letter. I don't have that. So I, I remember a lot of the Voorhees because uh, we're looking at some unusual names here. We don't have a Hobart anywhere in the cemetery. Oh, well, or yeah. Pern. I mean, those are just unusual. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, Hobart is Bryson's brother. Okay. Huh. And uh, my dad's cousin. Mm -hmm. uh, and Hobart came from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And I am surprised, 70 and 5, 6. That he would end seven, up here? And yeah. Well, he wanted to be close one. to us. There's Mildred. Uh, the, oh, Mildred. Okay, Mildred was my father's Boy. last wife. Mm -hmm. You mean Homer? Yeah. Huh. Uh, 70, Boy, the 71, 72 age one, is a popular one. 28, 74. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one more. And Myrtle. Myrtle was. She's uh, the other one, the Bison. So. Yeah. She's died 57. That's pretty young. She had an accident. Oh. A boating accident. Uh, I was here, and Bryson just buttons described it to me. For what is that? Eleven. What does that mean? That John Davis. Well, that's the funeral that's march funeral. Oh, okay. Livingston, Montana. And let's see, seven. Huh. Yeah. Sixty-three. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, Wallace Voorhees, which is spelled different. No, that's different. Let's go out there, and I'll show you where they are. Great. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not able to locate her. I knew she used to live here. She's a bowler, wasn't she? I don't remember. I no. just know the name. My mom used to bowl in this really? little league here, and I yeah. know Betty Cleveland was a bowler, and oh, really? my mom used to, my used, to, used to get little <laughs> dimes back when they didn't have video games, uh -huh. pinballs, yeah. and my mom would give us a roll of dimes. So my sister and I go out, and down, uh, this is over Pismo Beach, and we uh -huh. go out there and yeah. play pinballs, which of course they haven't improved upon. You know, My <laughs> son thinks that video games are great, but I'm pinballs. How long have you been around here? A long time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
But um, get back to um, uh, Klingman. Klingman? Yeah. Where are you guys from, by the way? Uh, Marin County? Marin uh, County. Up above San Francisco? Yeah. Well, you guys have had some rain. Oh, yeah. How's it been down here? Rain. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, is, is she? Oh, she's not here. No wonder I couldn't. We're going to go ahead and go out this way. All right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Now we've renamed this road here the Voorhees Memorial Road. <laughs> Are they all in a group together? No, it's not. <laughs> it's a little humor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how Hober sneaked in here. How oh, Hober? Yeah, Hober. Uh, Bryson was here. His nickname was Buttons. <laughs> Hobart Voorhees. Yeah. Huh. 1899 to 19. Yeah. And let's see here. We're going to go right across here to another. Right over in there. Do you want to hop on? And we'll... Sure. Or how far are you going? It's about 75 feet. Oh, shit. I'll walk over. came up and stood in the background. Really? Why? And somebody saw me. Well, if some people were sitting in front, I didn't see any seats, I just stood in the background. And somebody came up to get me. <laughs> and it was a seat that made me sit down. How old were you? 73, so that was... 73 again? Boy, that's right around the time... Oh, no, 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 no. Huh. Boy, I was eighth grade. Yeah. I don't remember that happening. You didn't talk about it, obviously. No. Well, there's no more dates. Not specifically. A lot of them were like that, though. And no flowers. Not even a hole for them. Someone came up to me and asked if I would come by the house. Which house? Uh, Homer's house. Well, I just know the answer for me to come by the house. Where was Homer's house? He lived in a trailer park on the other side of the road. The road right here. She died a year later? Yeah. Was she in bad shape at, during yeah. the... At 72? Asthmatic. Mm -hmm. uh, Very asthmatic. Bronicle asthmatic. And so I went by there for about an hour. I took off for home, and I think I stayed in San Luis Obispo that night. Or, uh, yeah. And what car were you driving back in 1973? Fiat? Did you drive that all the way down here? No. <laughs> Probably the Buick. Buick? Yeah. Nice Probably car. The Buick. Yeah, you remember the Buick. Oh, yeah. I remember it well. I remember the time Miles and I went and got it out of the air conditioning parking lot when it was being repaired, and we took two girls out, and one of them threw up all over the side of the car. Well, I'll do a little panoramic of this place. Hmm? Pardon? I'll do a little 360. Oh, okay. There's Homer's grave about right there. Huh? Solitude and serenity. This, this is a nice panorama right here. Exactly.
happened here? What kind of things happened here? They used to stay here. Why? To get away from the heat. Oh, they came, when they came over, they had to have a place to stay. And they used to stay at the Adams Motel. From Bakersfield. From Bakersfield. And when they had no vacancy here, would sleep on the beach. Your family? Well, the kids did. I don't know where the family found the place. They didn't care if you got hijacked, huh? Looks like they might have done a little remodel on it. They've kept it up. Yeah. New windows on the top there. Uh -huh. Do you stay in these rooms over here, down that row? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. It was on the first floor because Mom and Dad couldn't get up. You got a pretty good view of the ocean from here. Straight down through there. Okay. is my father's cousin. Your father's cousin. So he, your father's brother's son. Uh-huh. And my, who was your my, father's? No, my grandfather's brother's son. Who was your grandfather's brother? Oat. Where's Oat? Oat's in Los Angeles somewhere. OK. So that's from Oat's side. Yeah. And one of his sisters or daughters remarried and that's her uh Klingman because otherwise how could she have a different name well she married Betty Lou Voorhees married Klingman okay and, and that was Oates daughter yeah okay no no Oates granddaughter Jesus this is almost as complicated as the Oliver family yeah and over here Peter I kept thinking David may have been and but it was Donald that was her Donald. Okay, well, I learned my lesson from yesterday. I should have read the directions or something because now I've got the lighting thing down. This is an example. Here's the slide that we were looking at yesterday, which is about 10 feet away from our front door. It's nothing much. It only goes down about 150 feet. And I did bring my boots, so if we were to slide down, I could probably get back up. But there's a bit of a problem these guys have. So that's the old lighting situation. And that's the new. Old. New. Burns about to break all OSHA safety rules in the book. And he'll probably end up suing the Seacrest for having a bad ladder sitting around. Jesus, I can't believe you're doing that. Dad, don't. That's ridiculous. If you want, I'll stand up on this thing and, and uh, take a picture for you. You're going to kill yourself. It's not worth it. Slip through there. Seacrest Hotel. There's the slide, and there's our room. You find it? <laughs> you know where it was. Yeah. You gonna save any for Homer? Pull out, pull out something for Homer. 
I wonder if anybody's ever put flowers on their thing before. I wouldn't put any money on That's really great. Hmm. We can't walk to his grave. Huh? Actually, this grave is, Homer's grave is straight up that way. Beyond those trees? All the way in that corner by that okay, wall. We, better just we have to drive by anyways. Over there. And who else was in this graveyard? Is Hobart and Betty Lou. Hobart we saw. And Bryson. Bryson Voorhees too, right? Yeah. They were over in that direction. They're brothers. Mm -hmm. I think Bryson was on the way from that house right there over right. to Homer. We stopped sort of on the way. I think to my dad, my father. Would. Okay. So December 13th, 1953 was five days before Jenny was born. Yes. That must have been a emotional week for you. Yes. Dad Pern. Dad? No. Ada, some people spell it A-D-A, -A, but it was A-D-H, and I thought of it last night, and I wasn't quite sure. And so I... That's spelled incorrectly? It's spelled correctly. Oh, it is, okay. Yes. Just like Pern, there are not many Adas. Mm-hmm. It's a nice old tree there, huh? You have the proper setting. Yeah, today. So you came down just before Jenny was born to his funeral? Or was his funeral even after she was born?
I don't mean money. And she had died just, or she died after, by about you know, three months, Ada. No. Hearn died after Ada. Right. Right. Six, seven months. Right. <clears throat> 82. 82. Did you come down for her funeral? I did. In fact, Jane had, had taken the children, uh, John and Jennifer, back to see her folks in Cincinnati when she was gone. And I came down for the funeral. And, uh, well, let's see. Jenny wasn't even born. She must have been pregnant with Jenny. OK, it was John, mm -hmm. John only. Dad. And then he had to come right back down six months later. For Dad. And he wasn't doing well at the time, asthmatic and everything else? No, that's right. So. Looking for Homer's grave. Now we've seen this before. This is obviously a recent addition. Yeah. This. We made it. Yeah, Nuber. Yeah, this uh, the Masonic emblem, and this is an Eastern Star for women. Oh. Related to Mason. And my grandmother was Eastern Star. My grandfather was Mason. We're over this way. Three rows from the front. In fact, there he is, right there. No? Let's see. Aha! I forget, did you ever know Mildred at all? Oh, yes. Yeah? I have some pictures. How was she? Was she? Fine, quiet. Perfect for him, actually. He had to help take care of her a little bit. Why? There's something new. Well, she has the bad, bad run. So, it was a revelation to him. Take care of anybody? So that's my grandfather, Homer T. Homer, what T stand for? Tom? True. True. And where did that come from? My grandmother. Was named what? She named him True. Why? She would never... Never tell you? You asked and you couldn't figure it out? just because I wanted to. There wasn't another family name. I have never found it. And where was Homer born? He was born in the east, and I'm not uh, really certain. In Ohio somewhere, and I'd have to look it up, and it was obviously before they had moved out here. Because when did they move here? I'm not sure.
Well, here's Homer, and then if we look this way, way back next to that big tree over there, um, yeah, across the road, it's got to be right over there, straight over there, kind of following the telephone wires here, okay. somewhere. In that area would be Ada and Fern. Okay. Okay, Homer. We're not quite sure what lake this is, but it's about 10 minutes off 101 towards Maricopa. Beautiful. Did you ever come here and do some fishing? No, I didn't know the lake was there. You never hunt here? So this is what valley? This is the Coima Valley. Coima Valley at the end of the end of Coima Valley at the flat land. Approaching big Maricopa. Somewhere in here, your dad stopped his new V8 and let you drive, huh? Yeah. And you don't know if you were? Probably around 1934, 1936. Early is it 1936, probably 1934. There's a road sign. Maricopa, 14 miles. That's a turn off to Ventura, over the mountains, and I have taken that road one time to visit my grandparents who lived in Ventura and took this road through in my little Ford V8 coupe, baby blue coupe. I remember it because I had a radio in the car, and the dial was on the steering column, and the radio was down here somewhere, and I didn't have any static eliminators. And so I would coast half the time downhill so it wouldn't, <laughs> so I could hear the radio. Oh, you had an engine noise, huh? Here we are at the Maricopa city limit. This is on Highway 166 heading west or east. Elevation. 834. Population? 1245. Bigger than Ross. We're about 1200, aren't we? Ross? I think we're less than that. A couple of hundred. Oh, no, no. no we're no, 1200. No, we are not. Yes. The bay comes up and backs up and floods us. Yeah, the bay comes up 1200 feet? No, no. Here. Population. Population. Oh yeah, no, Population. Ross is 2,000 plus. Yeah. So when's the last time you were here in Maricopa? Junior and I came by here one time. Hmm, 12, 15 plus, two huh. years ago, plus more than that, maybe. Look at the rigs. They're yeah. Pumping. Then I've never had Well, one's pumping. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's one pump in there, too. Let's go down the street. That one? Mm -hmm. What's here? Now the house that I would have been living under would be all gone, probably. See Why? The trailers around. Now that's an old house. And that's for sale. Isn't it? Yeah. You have no idea. No. The house sort of like that. But not. I don't know why they would have ever torn a house down around here. Let's drive around here. I want to find a pepper tree. This is not a good time of the year. To How do you know what it looks like? Well, it's sort of like that, Peter. That's a pepper tree right there. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a pepper tree. Huh. And that's what we're going to look for. Chamber of Commerce. Huh. I wonder if they'd have any records or anything. I don't know. Probably not. Well, maybe. Let's go and see what they're talking That's... Let's go see if we can find Town Hall. They'd have... Well, a... Chamber of Commerce would be a good place to start. No more lost. It's a trailer. Well, we made it to... Cairo, Cairo Road that our buddy Chuck from the Chamber of Commerce told us about. Come across an oil rig. Grinding away. They're well balanced and very little effort. Lots of rigs around. Small what? <clears throat> Two inch pipes coming out. The town of Maricopa, I think, is where? Lost it. Might be over there. Yeah, it's probably it right up through there. So the oil rigs that you worked on, Dad, were they like that? Like what? Like this one? You can see. But they haven't changed that style much over the years? No, no, they really haven't. Huh. If you look around here, you look at the new ones and they're about the same. So this one might have been here for 40 or 50 years anyway, huh? Could well be. I don't know what's so special about this. Is this some sort of lubricant or something? Crude oil coming out of the ground. Now why? Because it just the hookup isn't perfect or something? I don't know. Is that pretty common? Is that normal? No, not really. To have it leak like that? No. So that's the head of what the pipe that goes way down in there? When they yeah. down below however deep this is, could be a thousand, two thousand, up to six, seven thousand feet. Jesus. Deep. And they keep just putting pipe after pipe after pipe on? Yeah. And there is a casing in there. And then that's all cemented in. And then they have other special pipe now, smaller pipe that goes down to where the oil is. Once in a while they have to put up another rig and go down and readjust it to another level. 
Look at look at this rig here. Some safety switch or something. Here's a real old rig that we just yeah, came by. Taken over by the new one. Yeah. Yeah, they used the same hole, didn't they? Yeah. They just never tore this one down. Ballast. It's just some old concrete. Water that ran it. Block came up. They don't have. Probably over in the yard. They have a block. Is that a big one or a small one or average or? That's about the average size of it. If you know it, yeah. uh, depending on the depth, if they go deeper, uh, it gets larger. Why do they have to pull it all out? Pull it out to change the bit. Oh. On the end of what if it, which rotates, pipe breaks? Uh, then they have to go fish for it, and they have tools to fish. Mm. I have been on a fishing job. The, the rotary bit uh, was an invention. There were three three balls like this here, and they, they rotate in high special steel and they had to pull them out occasionally and either put new ones in. It, it took, say, maybe a whole, one whole eight hours to get all that pipe out huh. and stand it up in the derrick, derrick in the rig, inside. And then when they went back in, they would one by one, the whole... Uh, and they're threaded pipes? Yeah, all threaded pipes. And, uh, Put it back. It was a process, mm. and they had a high line. Well, you see the high line. There are two. No, those are guy ones. That's to keep. Mm -hmm. Normally, there would be a single high line from the dairy. The very dairy man would be about the one, two, in the bottom of the second bay. Mm -hmm. Platform and he would catch this big block, or he would motivate that block to get in the right position and the right swing. So when it got to him, he would throw the pipe in and it would snap shut. Mm. And and it would thread automatically from there. Oh no, that's after it was threaded oh. down below. You thread down below. And if he had some trouble which in some rigs, uh, my father wasn't in one, but my cousin, Bryson, was in a rig. It was, they were drilling for gas, 
and they heard some funny noises. Mm -hmm. And he said, let's get out of here, told everybody. And the Derrick man had a high line, just like the guy wires, mm -hmm. where he could get down. And he came down that, they all ran and got away about 100 feet and the whole rig went up. Wow. Totally. And there was nothing but a great big cater hole afterwards. And that's happened, uh, happened in more than once. It was a very hazardous business. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. This is the old Highway 33 going from Taft to McKittrick, I guess. So you were on this road before? I'm sure at some point. I had been on this road. Doesn't look like much now. See? In? Up over there? Bakersfield. There's the old Bakersfield Inn. It doesn't look like it's very well kept up, if at all. It looks like it's closed. It is. Yeah. So... Huh. Didn't keep up. Now, where are we going to take a left here? We're going to take a left on... Casaloma Drive. There will be a Kern County Fairground on the right, and on the left, there's almost nothing but Casaloma Drive. Fourth Street, how far do we have to go? Fourth. That's where the old school was? Right there. Right yeah. there? Mm -hmm. What, grammar school? Or? Yeah, here's the railroad tracks. Uh -huh. Now, I'll go real slow over here to the right. Get off the highway, real slow. I want to look at mailboxes, names on mailboxes. That Russell Flint used to live right there, and they don't have names on mailboxes, do they? Mm -mm. They used to. Probably Darren. Uh, this was all vacant lot, and I would it, uh, sagebrush, and I would ride my bike from. Let's go down here. I think Madison, go down to Madison, all this is territory, all my friend, all my friend would live here. Casaloma Park. Flint is gone. Yeah. It's a police conference. Though the town didn't grow in this area. School, right there. Yeah. That's probably... Casaloma School. Casaloma School. Well, that's what uh, my school used to be. Union. But that's not it? Yeah, probably was. Let's turn left here. Left, huh? Uh-huh. Matson, Watson, what's the name on that mailbox? Where's the boys? I wouldn't know any of them around here. There should be a, a big adobe, a whole still. Pull over to the right, right here, right here. That one there? That's an adobe house. Huh? Uh huh. Okay. Now pull right up here. When did Homer build this house? Uh, 
probably in the late 30s. I'm not sure. Did you stay here with him much? Uh, about two weekends. Total? When, after he built this house, and while I was just out of high school, I came back to visit. And my granddad lived, you see that white house? Mm -hmm. He lived there. He had, he would, at this point, be buying houses and selling them. He lived there for a while. He moved from there then to uh, somewhere, I don't know, out of Bakersfield, and then to Royal uh, Grand. While he lived there, I was with him for maybe a month, and these people built that adobe house with three foot thick walls. Beautiful house, and obviously well kept. Why in the hell would they build a three foot wall? Heat? Huh. That's a native construction and tile roof. And isn't it in beautiful shape? Yeah. So, but this was my father's house. He built it. Now you say Pern owned all this land? He owned see an acre stop. From it was from here all the way down to the next intersection. Uh huh. And three of these. Right. None of this was here. This was all built afterwards. And this was a dirt road. And we built this house, and there was a garage. There was a garage. Huh. It's often not. Well, he was handy, extremely handy, and innovative. And Homer? Yeah. This foundation's cracking a little bit. Yeah. So there's Homer's house. And then you come over one, two houses, and there's Frank Gifford's house. She's always talking about Frank Gifford being his neighbor. Well, there you go. Some of the houses are nicely kept and some are pretty bad. This, this whole area was intended to be a highly restricted area, no, nothing less than one acre. But during the depression, everything went to hell. Rules were changed. Oh, puppy dog.
Well, he's using it like one. That's a great old truck. Look at that. Huh, what a great old truck. I wonder how much he wants for that. It's a 250 too. Still there? Uh-huh. And they've added on to the front. Uh-huh. Okay. And that was a garage that we lived in. And the house was right here. All the way over here. And that burned out. Oh. This road stopped right there. And my friends would come by, the only way out, come die. And this is a 90 degree turn, dead end there. And they would come by that corner and cut the curb. That's probably part of the curb right there. Huh. They would cut the curb and my father would never, hi. What? No, not your house, no. Who's? No. Is that new? No, not new. It's owned by four different people. Really? Caught fire twice. Oh. I don't know anything about it. No, we're not here for that. No. Okay. I Have used, a nice day. I used to live in the area of six, 60. My since 1952. Yeah? Huh. I was here in 1936. Yeah, my dad moved on this corner in March of 52. I lived yeah. in this corner in 1934. This one? In that house there. And that that was a garage. Yeah, that was a garage right there. Somebody named Hampels used to have this. Somebody what? I think Mr. Hampel had it my dad did. I don't know. The house in the corner that burned down years ago right here. That was my home. I didn't know that. Huh. Yeah, my dad bought this place in March 1952 from somebody named Mr. Hampel. I think Don't Hampel's know, it changed hands. Yeah, there was a house right over here. I know my dad always told me stories about a house that had caught fire right here. That's right. He said the foundation is still underneath the ground. Yeah. Huh. We were in Pittsburgh Beach. Uh huh. On a weekend. My dad wrapped all this building around here. Yeah, he made the house see. bigger. He had yeah. this on and this on, like him and my mom, but he's no longer with me. He's over at my brother's house. He's had a stroke. Yeah. So I live here by myself. Okay. Huh. I didn't mean to bother you, I just like chit chat. Right, right. when, <laughs> uh, when I lived here, there was absolutely nothing around except Zanetti's our Zanetti's lived down the street. Uh, this place yeah. in Zanetti down the street, Italian couple. What's their name, is it? Zanetti? Yeah. What, Italian couple. What's they, the they, young, are they there now? Uh, no, they, they moved, they sold it. Uh, but, uh, but I think, uh, see, Mr. and Mrs. Zanetti died, but they had a daughter. But the daughter lives in East Bakersfield somewhere. They I know that. son to Willie. Yeah, the, they had a son, a daughter and son, but the what son... What happened to the son? He worked for the forestry department for years, and uh, and then he eventually, uh, he never married, but he eventually went nuts, and they put him in like a rest home oh, or something. Really? The boy did. Oh, But I don't bad. know if he's still there. I went to school with Willie. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah he went, uh, he, I guess he forgot his memory or something. Something happened to me at brain surgery, oh. and he never was the same. Huh. Okay. Hi, okay. kitties. Okay. My babies. Yeah, they're cute. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh, I'm we'll glad see to you talk later. To you. I'll tell my dad I see you. Okay. okay. I'll see you. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This house is here. And that's about all. Up the street there may there was a temporary house to the far end of the street and that was all. It's this house, our house, the garage, and that's see if we can see some of the foundation. Nothing across the street. There. Except the cave I had built. This is this looks like it may have been original right here. Look. Mm -hmm. In fact, Dad had a curb around here. The same as 390, and I boarded the 390 stand, and I put a 390 crank. Uh -huh. well, I was amazed, made a 390 out of it. It was standard 390 now. Right. And it rebuilt the edge, it rebuilt the there's new timing chain and everything. Wow, great. Dual exhaust. Yeah. Heavy duty battery. I just did the alternator and a regulator on it. It's got a brand new carburetor, but not a rebuild, but a new one from Ford. And the yeah. alternator's rebuilt. Well, that's nice. Does it start up nice and easy? Right away. You don't even have to touch the ground. Oh, really? That's a great old truck. Is it? Look at that thing.
It's in perfect shape. It's got a rebuilt engine, brand new carburetor, new tranny. Seven forty seven Saturday morning. Burn's been up since three thirty with a sore rib. And he's still packing. It's taken him four hours to pack. And the weather outside is windy. The pool water is moving. And we're just excited to get on Highway 5 and drive next to the semi trucks. That's where all the action is. Actually, it's not raining too hard, it's just real windy. There's Highway 5. Seems to be moving. It's windy out here though. Be fun drive on five. Yeah. Sprinkling? <laughs> Just rained six inches last night. And yeah. <laughs> watering the fields. Maybe they're draining the creek. There's our first semi truck. There's another one right behind them. on it. Oh yes. Wait. San Francisco 182, Sacramento 181. Let's go to San Francisco. Oh, I see it. That's probably a good idea. Spend the extra mile. Yeah. There's Harry's cows out there. Lots of them. As far as the eye can see.
Allegheny Valley was noted as the most Total fertile valley. In here. Total. I five had a real problem because of dust sweeping across the huh. first building. Still, they will have dust storms depending on certain areas. They're plowing or digging, killing. Old I-5, nice day, windy. There's a cool dude in the lens. A what? Cool dude. <laughs> We're about an hour away from home, supposedly, in the Wesley Safety Rest Area. And good trip. Mm-hmm. 